Alright, this is the coupling section of the pre-trip inspection. We have our blue line, which is our service line, also known as your primary line. We have our electrical line, and we have our emergency line, which is your secondary. Alright, we'll start with the blue line. Alright, the service primary line, we want to talk about from the truck to the trailer at the connection points. You're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broken, cracked, it's not leaking, uh, they're properly mounted and secure. This is the uh, line itself, it's not tangled or spliced, and they're not touching the catwalk, has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts, it's also properly mounted and secure, not leaking. We have our electrical line. At both ends, from the truck to the trailer, have spring-loaded locking caps. Spring-loaded locking caps, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. They're properly mounted and secure. The line has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts, or not tangled or spliced. Properly mounted and secure. This is our electrical box. The supply electricity from the truck to the trailer our electrical box, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broke or cracked. They're properly mounted and secure. All right, this is our emergency line. Emergency line from the connection points, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broke or cracked, not leaking, properly mounted and secure. The line is not tangled or spliced, or has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts, not leaking. And they're not touching the catwalk. They're properly mounted and secure. All right, we have our glad hands. Glad hands, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. They're properly mounted and secure. It also has a rubber seal inside. The rubber seal has no abrasions, bolts, or cuts, not leaking, and it's properly mounted and secure. All right. Lines. All my lines is properly mounted and secure and they're not touching the catwalk. We have our apron. Our apron is properly mounted and secure, not been broke or cracked, has no illegal welding, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Connected to the apron, you have a kingpin and shank, which is inside the fifth wheel. The kingpin and shank, not been broke or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, it's properly mounted and secure. Locked around the kingpin in the shank, you have the locking jaws. The locking jaws not been broken, cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's properly mounted and secure. This is our fifth wheel skid plate. Fifth wheel skid plate should be properly greased. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not been broken, cracked. And there shouldn't be no gap between the apron and the fifth wheel skid plate. This is a fifth wheel release arm. Fifth wheel release arm is not being broke or cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Should be in a locked or secure position. This is our fifth wheel safety latch. Fifth wheel safety latch, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. Should be in a locked or secure position. It's properly mounted and secure. This is our platform. Platform should be properly mounted and secure. No illegal welding, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, not being broke or cracked. All right, these are our mountain bolts. Mountain bolts, not bent, broken, cracked, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They properly mounted and secure. Also, you have to indicate if this fifth wheel skid plate is fixed or not. So this fifth wheel skid plate is not fixed because it has a sliding rail where you can slide the fifth wheel. And then also the last part, you have to indicate from the back of the tractor to the landing gear you have enough space to make proper turns. And that completes the coupling section.